Today I want to talk about a series of monumental new works by the German artist Georg Baselitz, who has been a towering and controversial painter ever since he emerged onto the scene in Germany in the, in the early 1960s. In many ways, these paintings are completely in line, an extension of what Baselitz's life project has been for the last 60 years. And yet, there are crucial elements that update uh, this trajectory and, and introduce new methods, new techniques, and in a way a return to subject matter or a renewed focus on subject matter that is surprising and, and that adds urgency to these paintings. The figure is Baselitz's wife, Elke, who the artist has painted countless times since the early 1960s. And in, in this series is not painted from life, but from memory. In many ways, the paintings are a evocation of a lifetime of uh, sitting for the artist, living with the artist, living together, and thus both a celebration of a shared life. It is interesting in that regard that Baselitz's for this series of paintings chooses a technique that is related to, to the monotype process. In the monotype, the most important element or the most distinctive feature is the fact that although a process of mechanical reproduction, a process of imprinting and lifting an impression from an inked or a painted surface. It is a process that cannot be mechanically reproduced multiple times, which is a hallmark of printing technology. It is in that way a hybrid or an uneasy process situated somewhere between drawing, painting, and printing. In that regard, Baselitz positions himself within another art historical lineage, nodding to artists such as Edgar Degas, who made extensive use of the monotype, nodding to artists such as Max Ernst and his surrealist colleagues who used rubbing, printing, and other transfer techniques in order to precisely remove the hand and the mastery of the hand and the elegance of the manually drawn line. But he also opens up a reading of these paintings that has a direct relationship to the monotype process in that if one were to take a second impression from an inked monotype plate without re-inking it prior to taking that impression, the resulting image is more faded, is more broken up, is more incomplete, um, and is referred to a ghost print. And so this idea that within monotype processes, you can produce something that quite technically is called a ghost print, might open up another reading of, of these paintings in that they suggest a spectral presence. It is animating the paintings with a context of recollection and a context of continued consideration of the human figure that has been the hallmark of Baselitz's practice, but rarely been thought of as one that comes from a position of fragility, memory, love, and, and care, and is more often affiliated with qualities such as strength, masculinity, a, a kind of swagger that has been a hallmark of Baselitz's career for the last 60 years, and that in these works is updated with a tenderness that is remarkable for the series.